All right, what's going on guys? So no matter what you buy in life, there's usually an expensive version of the product and then a knockoff brand or no name cheap version of the product. So fishing lures are no different. Uh, today we're gonna test out an expensive little crankbait and then the cheap knockoff no name brand of the same type of crankbait. So the Yoziri Snapping, it's probably one of the more popular uh, name brand mini crankbaits. So this one retails for $4.09 on Amazon. It is one inch and one sixteenth of an ounce. And then we're gonna put that up against this little knockoff version of basically the same exact lure. Uh, it's a one inch, one sixteenth ounce, little micro crankbait, and 10 of these on Amazon are $8.90. So $4.09 for this one, about 89 cents for this one. So we're gonna open these up, take a closer look at them, and then we'll get to fishing. All right, hope these come out pretty well. So as you can see, they are fairly identical or as similar as I could get them. So the snap bean over here, the $4 lure, uh, this is the knockoff no-name lure for 89 cents. Similar colors and they're supposed to be the same size, but if you look at them, uh, the snap bean is a little bit bigger, not by much though. So they're both supposed to be one inch and one sixteenth ounce, but this one is a little bit bigger. And this one, the more expensive one, does look to be a better quality. So if you look at the hardware, uh, the hooks and the uh, split shots, this one is a little bit more appropriate in size. This one they just kind of threw on a fairly large hook and fairly large uh, split rings in there. And then the lip. The lip on the Yozuri snapping does look to be a little bit nicer, a little bit higher grade. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw both of these out. Uh, I'm going to fish each one for 20 minutes in the same pond, same area. And then at the end of those 20 minutes we'll flip them. We'll go for a couple rounds and then we'll see if the $4 lure actually does outperform the 89 cent lure. So let's give this a shot and let's tie one of these bad boys on. All right, so tied on the $4 Yozuri snap bean to get us started here. It is 3.23. I will fish this thing for 20 minutes and then we'll give the knockoff brand lure a shot. So we're a couple casts in here. And I gotta say, I like this lure a lot. No fish yet, but it's got a good little action, tight wobble, and it's a sinking lure, so it allows you to work the lure whatever depth that you want. If you wanna work it higher, reel a little bit faster more often, want it to sink a little bit, slower retrieve will get that thing to drop. There we go. Fish on, first one of the day. Oh no, out of the pads, dude. There we go. Mayan cichlid. Tighten this drag up a little bit. Bring him on in here. Still got plenty of fight in him. Come here, dude. Oh. Alrighty, first one of the day. Nice little Mayan. So First fish of the day, nice little mine cichlid. As you can see that Yozuri snapping right in the corner of the mouth there. Uh, we're about 15 minutes in, so it took a while to get this guy, but let's get him back. We'll try to catch one more here in the last five minutes before the switch. All right, we got less than a minute to go here for this round. One last cast here with the Yozuri snap bean. Let's see if I can pick up one more fish here. If not, I'm gonna tie on that other knockoff brand one. So after the first round, picked up one mine cichlid here on the snap bean. All right, got the 89 cent knockoff all tied on. Like I mentioned, it looks a lot cheaper, especially the hardware, the hooks and the split rings. 
but let's give it a shot. It looks like it should catch some fish too. All right, so I know that was just the first cast, but instantly I think the Yozuri does cast better. I was able to get that thing to go a little bit further. Uh, the action on this looks about the same. Uh, like I mentioned, even though these are supposed to be the same size, I'm pretty sure this one's a little bit smaller. And I think that gives it a little bit more, I guess, uh, aerodynamically or whatever. Here we go. Fish on, another Mayan. First fish on the knockoff. Oh, he's under the pipe. There we go. Nice one too. Let's get out of these rocks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, first fish on the knockoff. Alright, first fish on the knockoff. Another mine cichlid, about the same size or so, but let's get this one back and we've still got 15 minutes of fishing left on the off. There we go, into another mine. These are so much fun on the ultralight, they put up real nice fight. Oh no, am I stuck somewhere? No, nope, I'm moving. It might be down a bunch of weeds. There we go. Oh yeah, he's down in a bunch of weeds. There. Still got a lot of fight in him though. Oh, now he's dragging all these weeds with him. Come on, guy. Alrighty. Mine cichlid number two on the off-brand. Alright, mine cichlid number two on the off-brand one, third one of the day. Might be the biggest fish of the day too. Uh, but so so far we got 10 minutes to go here on the off-brand one, and it's already winning two to one. That's a fish. Small one. What is this? Oh man. Smallest fish of the day, little bluegill. All right, by far the smallest fish of the day. I'm definitely not gonna beat this. And this is, might be the smallest fish that I've ever caught on a lure. Uh, but yeah, let's get this guy back. So it's not looking good for the Ozuri. This knockoff brand here in round two is up three to one already. And we've still got almost four minutes to go here. So let's keep going. All right, here we go. Last cast for round two. See if we can pick up one more here. But either way, this was a great round for the knockoff. Oh, that was a bite. Missed it. But this was a great round for the knockoff the knockoff brand. Now let's tie the other one on and get started. Speaking of off-brand, I got some off-brand coconut water and it tastes just like the more expensive coconut water, but we are at halftime right now. Fish both the lures for the same amount of time, the same way, in the same general spots. Uh, so I tied on the Yozuri snap bean right now. That lure is down three to one. Only got one on the snap bean. I got three on the off-brand 89 cent lure. So we'll fish both again for 20 minutes in the same spots and we'll see if the uh, snap bean here can make a comeback because it's not looking too good right now. All right, snap bean is all tied on and ready to go. And we've got some work to do here because this one is far behind.
there we go fish on doesn't feel too big oh is that a bluegill i think we got our first good sized bluegill come here dude oh yeah beautiful little copper nose nice size got a beautiful copper nose uh, I love the colors on these guys so if you look at the head nice purple color with that band of copper right on top of the top right on top of the eye that kind of where they get their name uh, copper nose but beautiful fish first nice size bluegill out of here today uh, so the snap bean is still in it I got about 10 more minutes but it's gonna take a couple more fish to uh, beat that uh, off-brand lure All right, final 20 minutes here. Uh, the off-brand lure already won three to two, but we're gonna fish it anyway, just finish it out and see what else we can get on that thing. That's a fish. I think it's a bass too. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good one. Probably the biggest one of the day. Right in the corner of the mouth. Don't jump, don't jump. Alrighty. First bass of the day, biggest fish. Real nice size on this one too, right in the corner of the mouth, barely hooked. Alrighty, biggest fish of the day, nice little large mouth. Hit that off-brand, off-brand crankbait. So not much on the Ozuri, but the off-brand one has been producing nicely here. So nice little bass, and let's let this one go. All right, so still got about 15 minutes with this thing, but I think it's safe to say this thing definitely wins today. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get on the off-brand one. There we go. Another fish. What is that? Is that a spotted tilapia? Can't tell yet. Looks like it. These guys can pull pretty well too. Uh, come on. All right, another new species on the off-brand. All right, nice little spotted tilapia again on that off-brand crankbait. Not looking good for that Yozuri. Way more fish and way more species now. Uh, on that off brand, so let's let this one go, but beautiful fish. Alright, so that's gonna do it. Uh, both these lures, even though they're supposed to be the same, uh, both sinking crankbaits, one inch, one sixteenth of an ounce, they are different. So like I mentioned all the way in the beginning, the Yozuri is made of higher quality product, especially the hooks. Uh, the split rings, it, it just looks better. So in that respect, the Yozuri wins. Uh, however, the fish seem to like the off-brand one a little bit better. Now, the action in the water actually looked better on the off-brand one. It had a little bit of a better wobble. The Yozuri, sometimes it wobbled, but very often it just kind of spun. And it, usually when that happens, your line kind of gets hooked around, tied around the hook, but that wasn't the case here. So action goes to the off-brand one. The fish seem to like the off-brand one better. I fished both of them in the same spots for the same amount of time, using the same kind of retrieve, and they're almost the same color. Uh, more fish went after the, the off-brand one. More different species of fish went after the off-brand one. The biggest fish went on, uh, after the off-brand one, and the smallest fish went after the, the off-brand one. So really, no matter how you look at it, the off-brand one seemed to win today. Uh, the Yozeria, I like it. I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. Uh, but for four dollars and nine cents when the off-brand one is 89 cents uh, I'm going with the off-brand one. So in the future at some point I know I'm gonna lose these lures and I'm gonna have to buy new ones uh, There's no way I'm gonna be buying the Ozuri. 
Nothing wrong with it, but I would rather buy the 89 cent one over the $4.09 one. So I hope you liked it, uh, and I will see you guys next time.